Sokolova of Russia and then Barbieva of Azerbaijan at this point in terms of those that have skated in this portion of the competition. And that's very commendable. And so this, this young lady, uh, Tanya Shevchenko, really is charming, very vulnerable, very sort of elegant. and Trying to come back once again. She's in 10th place after the short. She too had a disastrous practice, but she's also a lady who is known to be able to skate well under pressure. Now on this jump, look at the spring. That means the ability to jump high in the air. She gets very good height on that. Nice spring. It's an incredible story that you may know, but the more you think of it, to realize what she has been through. Rare combination of viruses, almost took her life off the ice for a year and a half. Came back at the Champion Series final this season. Finished second right behind Tara Lipinski. Pulling off seven triple jumps, the best performance of her career. But then missed the Olympics with the flu. Good revolution. Good revolution. She has the potential to be a very elegant skater. Now that, that, the problem there was, again, the reach back of the free leg. She didn't, and the jump doubled. There wasn't the height that she normally has that I've pointed out on many occasions before. The revolution wasn't completed, and that caused the fall. criticism of her skating, it would be that she sometimes allows herself to become round-shouldered, and that detracts from the very long-legged, elegant look that she could achieve. Not a double, but a single axle. Well, that was clearly a program that ran out of steam. A performance that ran out of steam also. Well, her immune system has worked overtime the past year and a half, two years, and it, she did look fatigued. Five, 